Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm going to share with you the answer to two questions I resolved this weekend. On Saturday, people are emailing me asking me how to fix stuff. The first one is from E to K is a data range and the person had converted it to a table. Control T. I love tables. I'm going to hit OK. When I click OK, it'll appear, the word table will appear up in the ribbon. So that is a contextual tab. So now they have it a table, they want to take it back to a range for some reason. But here's the issue. Table tools, or sorry, table design, convert to range. I'm going to show you what happens. Hit yes. Do you want to convert this? It is no longer a table. It's a range, except the issue is when you convert a table back to a range, it leaves the shading, the borders, um, and the font colors. So you can come in here to the font group and go no borders. Also change it to no fill and then go make it automatic in case that was red or blue. But that's a lot of clicking. So here's my suggestion to them. When you have a table and you want to go back to a range, I don't care what style of table you have, it doesn't matter. I told them, stay here in the table first and all the way at the bottom is, I know you can't see it because it's off my screen, but I promise you it says the word clear. So I still have a table because it says table design at the top, but I just cleared all the information. So now I'll just convert it to a range. Click yes. That's a whole lot easier than all the other steps they were doing. The second step, the second question I had is someone had a lot of data that came in with feet and inches and they need the feet in one column and they need the inches in another. And I don't know how many different people were suggesting using the left function and the substitute function. I said just select it, pull up replace, which is control H, find feet, replace it with the forward slash, replace all, hit OK. And if you're wondering, next I'm going to find inches, which I believe you figured out. You don't want to leave that blank because what will happen is it may convert it into a date seeing 11 slash 4, 4 slash 9. So I still left a forward slash in there. Replace all. Hit OK. Close. Leave it selected. Data tab. Text to columns. Nothing to do on step one. Step two in the other box is where that forward slash goes. Look down below. Click finish was my answer to that question. Are those numbers? Absolutely. If I select those three, down in the bottom right corner, it says average count and sum, and it says 21, which is correct. Let's highlight the next three numbers. 20, so they are numbers, and they can work. They can change that to feet and inches. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great Sunday.